Guy's a maniac. Why'd he bite me? What is up guys, today I'm going to talk about my favorite Resident Evil game, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. I love this game to death, and it will always remain my favorite Resident Evil game. No matter how many different Resident Evil games they remake, no matter how many new Resident Evil games they come out with, this game will always remain my favorite Resident Evil game of all time. Resident Evil 3 does a good job of showing us what the T-Virus can do when it infects other things, like insects, animals, reptiles, and I love that enemy variety. I love how it shows how devastating the T-Virus can be if it touches anything else. Exactly how everything was done up in Resident Evil Outbreak. Now despite this game being pretty short, it does have an RNG system which makes up for that. So every time you play through this game, it's a different experience every single time, despite it being so freaking short. The enemy placement is different, gunpowder placement is different, RPD, it switches, it switches between Magnum and Grenade Launchers, which is really annoying when you're trying to do every single Nemesis kill. And I love that about this game. Even her placement is different. Sometimes you'll get out of a really bad fight with like maybe a brain sucker, nemesis, normal zombie, and you go into an area where you know that most of the times there's a green herb there. But if you go in there this time, there's not a green herb there. There's a, blue, a whole bunch of blue herbs, and that's it. And you're like, well, I have to try to survive for another couple minutes until I find the next spot that will probably give me herbs that I need to heal up. So the game is really hard and really is fresh because of this RNG system. And I love this a lot, and I wish this was in other Resident Evil games. Now, you can make the game hard if you want to, or you can make it easy. You can make it hard by killing every single Nemesis encounter, which is also very rewarding. You get weapon parts, which if you get enough, you can make an eagle. You can make a very powerful shotgun. You can get first aid drops. You can get infinite ammo if you beat the game more than once, which is very fun when it comes to the end of the game. Of course, you don't get it early on. But near the end of the game, you will get that drop and you can run through the whole end sequence, the whole boss end sequence with like an infinite grenade launcher with freeze rounds. Freeze rounds are really good against Nemesis. Or you can take the easy way, which is just running from every single Nemesis encounter, which to me, that's the really boring way to play. But you still get some of his drops, which actually no, I take that back. You only get like one of his drops, which would be the first aid boxes with the three first aids in it. You don't get that until like later on, like near the end of the game, middle to the end of the game. So if you guys are really up for a challenge with very nice rewards, I recommend you play the game, killing every single nemesis encounter. And it's also very fun to watch unless you're getting stomped on the first nemesis fight, which is probably the hardest one, like 20 times. And you're just stuck there for an hour, which has happened to me on stream before. I've been stuck on the first nemesis encounter for like a good hour which is absolutely terrible. There's also secret encounters and a lot of decision making in this game. Now decision making came back for other Resident Evil games, but it wasn't as bold as it was with Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. We only had to make like one or two decisions in Resident Evil Remake and one decision in Resident Evil 7. And Resident Evil 3 is full of a lot of them, which I like that a lot. And I wish again, I was in more Resident Evil games. And of course, the secret encounters, you can run into Nikolai, you can run into Mikhail, you can run into Carlos and in different places. You can run into Carlos at the beginning of the game. You have this whole sequence where you jump out the window. You can run into Mikhail near the train where he's fighting off a whole bunch of zombies before he's injured. You can run into Nikolai at the gas station where he goes into a room and it blows up. So it's awesome having these secret encounters, this RNG system. This difficulty, you can make the game harder, easy if you want. I love this game to death, and I will keep playing it. I won't ever stop playing it. I love it, and I want it to be remade, but we have to wait another, like, 40 years because we have to wait 20 years for Resident Evil 2 Remake to be remade because we haven't heard anything about that yet. So, I love Resident Evil 3. Happy 18th birthday. Happy September 28th, Jill, I guess. <laughs> have fun trying to escape Raccoon City. So... Tell me what you guys think about this game in the comment section down below, and I will get with you guys in the comment section down below.